really trying to do their job and sometimes I really feel like they are not able to without, you know, having scrutiny like this. Well, we've been uh, juggling a lot of live events to, over the last couple of hours here. We do finally have Texas Congresswoman Myra Flores standing by. Great to have you with us, Congressman, a Congresswoman, I should say. Uh, you know, I, I know you were listening along with us when you heard uh, Commissioner uh, Agnes there talking about that. W what is your reaction to the way this whole situation has played out? Honestly, I've been very upset and to be honest, pissed off because our border patrol agents don't deserve to be treated like this. They're doing their job. They're just enforcing the laws that Congress put in place. Um, if they're upset at our border patrol agents because they're enforcing the laws, then they should, we should change it then. Um, but I'm honestly sick and tired of this administration constantly disrespecting our agents, sick and tired of we sent it claiming to be supportive of our border patrol agents, but yet he supports this administration. This administration, that all they do is disrespect our Border Patrol agents that are actually saving lives. They're saving children from child sex trafficking, saving women from being abused. Uh, yet, is this administration who's putting immigrants at, uh, at risk? It's this administration who's encouraging people to come here to the United States knowing the dangers. It's this administration um, that is doing everything, everything to destroy our, our, border, uh, our border Patrol and uh, also our, our country as well. And, you know, we know that you um, were born in Mexico, a proud Latina, and you're married to a U.S. Border Patrol agent yourself. So you have a lot of personal ties as someone who came uh, to this country legally at the age of 14, got your U.S. citizenship. Now you're in Congress. Now you feel like you can do some things, um, hopefully, for your area. But we want to ask you your reaction to uh, Texas Governor Abbott. Um, this morning, it came out that he will be sending migrants back to the border. But as you know, those judges along the southern border, an area you know very well, Congresswoman, declared an invasion. It, it does seem that Abbott could go further with that federal Article 1 there. What do you want to see Abbott do? Is this enough? I want to see the federal government step up. This is their job. Mm. Texas shouldn't have to go through this. Texas shouldn't have to step step up and having to do this. This is really our responsibility. But Biden doesn't care to see 53 immigrants lose their life. This is on him. 53 immigrants died a few days ago. I know they don't want to talk about it, but this is on them because they continue to encourage people to come here illegally. I want people to come here the way I came. And I know that, you know, it's a lot more the it's a lot more difficult to come here legally. And that is why I focus on the legal process. How can we improve the process so more little girls like Myra can come here to the United States and have a good experience? Why should a little girl have to go through so much abuse, go through hell for the American dream. I want little girls like Myra to be able to come here to the United States where it's safer, secure, and they don't have to go through so much abuse. But Democrats are obsessed with illegal immigration, knowing all the trauma that they're going to have to go through, because for them, it's all about political power. For me, it's not. It's about human lives. Behind these policies are human lives being affected, and they don't care. They care about the party. I don't care about the party. I care about people. And that's the difference between uh, me and, and the Democrat Party and us. We actually care about human lives. And I actually care about the people. We wanted to also ask you about this recent New York Times article, which calls you a far-right Latina. Uh, here is what they reported. Congresswoman Flores is one of two other Latina Republicans, Monica de la Cruz in McAllen, Texas, and Cassie Garcia in Laredo, who are also on the ballot in congressional races on the Mexican border. All three GOP officials have taken to calling them a triple threat, uh, share right-wing views on immigration, the 2020 election and abortion, among other issues. Uh, what are the right-wing values that they're talking about? Well, the New York Times also writes that your campaign slogan, uh, which was God, family, and country, was meant to appeal uh, to your voters, to traditional values. They put it in quotation marks in the article, which I thought was very interesting. And it made me wonder why, <laughs> you know, family, God, and country are traditional values in the New York Times, Congresswoman. <laughs> well, no one really cares about what New York Times says. You know, New York Times doesn't know me, uh, doesn't know my culture. We've always been about God, family, and, and hard work. That's who we are. 
I'm not no far right Latina, like they say. I just focus on the issues that matter to my district, you know, and not the nonsense that, you know, Washington is focused like Latinx, you know, <laughs> all that nonsense. I'm just glad that they called me Latina, you know, and, and, that's, and not that's Latinx. All. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I think AOC and is the Latinx, only only um, Latinx self-identifying Latinx person on uh, that, on record right United now. States. So she's a party of one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I do want to. Exactly. I want to ask you about Nancy Pelosi. I mean, this week uh, she's over in Italy, you know, walking the beach there. But it wasn't too long ago at your swearing in ceremony where this video got a lot of attention. She pushes your daughter. We know you've reacted before in a, in a wonderful way, uh, Congresswoman, saying that your daughter continued to smile and pose for the picture like a queen. But what are your words for Ms. Pelosi? Well, you know, she claims she's for immigrants, but she doesn't want them next to her, you know? She wants us to stay in our place. And that's exactly how I felt when I saw that that video, that, um, you know, the Democrat Party has always claimed that they're for immigrants, uh, for Hispanics, but yet they don't want to see us prosper. They don't want to see us next to them. They want to continue controlling us, controlling our vote, um, but we're done with that. We're done uh, supporting a party that takes us for granted and, do, and does nothing for us. Well, you have four children. Obviously, you are a busy woman these days. They talk about uh, work-life balance. Um, it seems very elusive and probably for you these days. Any advice? How are you getting it all done lately? Honestly, I'm blessed to have an amazing mom. She's always uh, been there for me, and she continues to be there uh, for for my family. I wouldn't be here without my parents, without you know the support of of my family. My uh, children's godmothers are always there, very present every single day. Last night, I had an event very late, and their godmother uh, was watching them. I, I wouldn't be here without them. It's almost Honestly, like those those three words uh, behind me is amazing, amazing people. Your campaign family. slogan comes into play, God, family, country. There you go. Myra Flores, great to have you with us. So great to finally connect with you. We look forward to talking to you again. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Myra.